our friends. In this presentation, we will be looking at the uh, reinforced concrete wall and the steel beams uh, bridge, just like this. Okay, so we are going to be, you know, modeling the steel uh, beam as it's going to connect these two walls together. We load it. We carry out the analysis of this uh, simple bridge, and then we get to the analytical model just like this. Okay. After we must have applied load to it. After which we take it to the prota detail. Okay. And so we will carry out the connection design. So you can see over here, this is the steel beam and the reinforced concrete wall connections. All right. Then we'll create a plate that is going to cover it off. Which, if I delete this plate now, you look at the way it is. I will right click right there. And then I will come down to the delete options. I delete the uh, plate. Yes, options right there. So you have this. Okay, so this is how the whole connection will be. We're going to cover all of this with plate successfully. This is Plata Structure 2022. So stay tuned, stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Soft Reason. Let us get started. So here is the reinforced concrete wall in the opposite side. Okay, so we are going to be providing a steel beam that's going to connect uh, the first reinforced concrete wall and the second reinforced concrete wall successfully. After which we will proceed to add the polines on the polar we place a load successfully okay so let's us proceed i will be navigating to the uh, level three okay this level so here is the level i will be uh, actually inserting the reinforcer concrete there uh beam successfully okay so uh sorry i'll be inserting the steel beams uh, to form the trace tool successfully so i will uh, let's navigate to the modeling tab and then go to the steel members and then we'll check beam right there all right so in the beam dialog just like this okay so we will go to the session manager in the session manager dialog we will navigate to the ipe and then we click right there all right so we have other sections of the ipe we are going to be considering the section 220 this one get that selected just like this okay after which click on the okay options again we want a, an offset or a clear distance Okay, a little bit uh, downward in the placement of the stress to beam. Okay, so we go to the uh, uh, 3D provisions. Ne? We have the, you know, the uh, level I and J. We will make provisions of 100 right there. Okay, we are going to prefix it with minus. Okay, just like this. And as well, we prefix this with also minus just like this. So you have to just pick the first point. Then pick the second point to have uh, the steel beams. All right just like this you can see so i will continue to place that just like this so the clear distance i'm talking about you know is the difference between the top of the reinforced concrete wall and then the top of the steel uh beam which is going to form the stress tool of this particular bridge successfully just like this okay so i will proceed to place the rest of that after having the stress tool beams uh placed successfully Okay, model successfully just like this. You click on the close to close the dialog right away. This time around, we'll be fixing the polines. So we navigate to the steel beam provisions again. We we'll select polines. We are going to pick the first beam and then we we'll go all the way to pick the last beam right there. Okay, and then uh, in the poline dialog, just like this, we are going to be make some editing for the polline spacing. We will be using 200, a very close spacing. All right, just like this, you go to the rod. Okay, so we are going to remove this rod and this also all right just like this so we'll be having something of this kind as our polines okay on the steel beam to form the trace tool or the walk through or the walkway all right so after which close this dialog clicking on the okay options to place this just like this okay after which the next thing we'll be looking at is the loading all right we'll be looking at the loading okay so for the loading you get the polines selected like this you right click and then click on the edit load all right so once you click on the edit load you will have a load dialog coming up just like this okay so in this load dialog provisions we are going to be applying a uniform load full uniform load is what we are going to be applying so we click on the full uniform load so once you click on the full uniform load if you check over here you have g load which is dead load so you will provide the load value over here which is the magnitude of the load this one okay we are you have one right there so after which you just have to key in the load magnitude let's say uh for the g load which is the dead load we'll be having it as three kilonewton per meter 
right? So after which we have to select all of this member to have the load applied on the member successfully. So you can see the load is being applied right there, which is the G load. We are going to be applying the Q load, which is the left load as well. So we click in this provisions and then in the drop down menu, select the Q load, just like this. So having selected the Q load over here now, what we need to do is to come to the value right here and then we change this value depending on the Q load we are going to be applying. So in this case, we consider 10 kN per meter of the Q load and then we have to select all of the members just like this to have the load applied like this successfully. So we have applied load on the uh, trace tool successfully just like this. So click on the OK options to get rid of the dialog. Okay, so for the lateral pressure, if you want to apply lateral pressure to the wall, it's as simple as you get the wall selected just like this. All right, before then, you have to deselect the polarize. So you go straight away to this T member and then deselect this polarize right there and then select this wall just like this. Right click and then you click on the edit load. You can use it here, edit load here. So once you click on that, the load dialog will come up. So here is the wall. We're going to be applying an area load by the side of this wall successfully. So where is the area load? Wall area load this one. So you just have to click on it. So once you click on it, it will show in this provision. We also have the G load and the Q load. Okay, for, for the magnitude, we have the magnitude 1 and the magnitude 2. Magnitude 2 simply means the load magnitude at the bottom of the wall. Alright, so we take it to be 10 kilo newton. Alright, so the load magnitude at the top of the wall, we take it to be just 2 kilo newton or 3 kilo newton, just like this. So after which we select the wall where we intended putting the load. So you can see it there, it's been applied successfully, just like this. So you click in this drop button menu and then you choose the live load. For the life load, the same thing, the magnitude or can't be reduced. We want to change it to uh, 4 right here, right? Then for the magnitude 1, we change it to 2. So we we'll click on the side of the wall to have the load applied successfully. So this is how we applied a wall area load successfully. Click on the OK option. After which, here is the model. We are going to be going into the analysis and design of this model. So go straight away. To the analysis tab but by then you have to save the project so i click on the save right there to make sure i save the project then you go to the analysis tab and then you see the building analysis it's not done so you just have to click on it to have the page uh, a dialog page just like this you can add all the next setting of the material just like this okay for the steel uh, columns great it's been selected as the smallest after analysis the program we select uh, the right steel uh, strength successfully okay so we'll be going using we'll be going to use this uh, setting successfully click on the ok options and then straight away we will go to the analysis tab to click on the building analysis so once you click on the building analysis it batch design options pop up just like this okay so you just have to check the columns and the beams all right and then also check the steel member check all right so it's going to analyze design the steels as well my use this structure 2022 click on the building analysis right there you have to give the program some seconds to cut out the analysis process completely. Analysis is still in progress. So now the build analysis is completed successfully. Okay, so after which you just have to close this dialog. So once you close this dialog, let's check the steam members if they have spark design or they have failed the design successfully. So you get one of these team members selected, the steel beams, all right, right click, and then you navigate to the steel member design, click right there, all right. So you see now in the uh, design dialog, the results, every of the members has passed, you can see the view ratio has passed, the check for combined forces, the share check and the torsional check, everything has passed successfully. If in case any of this failed, you can increase the sections. Click on the OK options. You want to check the polarized right away. So you get the polarize selected, right click and then come down to steel member design, all right? So in this steel member design dialog for the polarize, you can see the deflection has passed. You can see the design statute has passed. All of the ratio has also passed design successfully. So everything is good. Click on the OK options to close that. For the since analysis is done, to check the analytical model, you just have to go over to view right there. Then you select this uh, analytical model, just select it once. So once you get it selected, you have the analytical model window 
you know, being displayed just like this, okay? So with this, you can check the animations. So the animation is based on the load applied successfully. Okay, so you can just close the animations. Then we go back to the 3D model and then we proceed. Wall, we also select the wall. Right click on the wall. If you check over here, you can see the two walls as also pass design successfully. So if you just have to check that out, you click on the uh, section design. So this is the wall section design. You can see the required area has been selected, the minimum, and as well as the supply has been selected successfully. Everything has passed design successfully. If you proceed to click on the interactive design right there, you will notice that uh, the reinforcement is for Y10 plus 2 times 17 Y10. Okay, and here is the area of the reinforcement right there. Click on the OK options and then OK options again to have this. At this time around, we are going to be taking this into Protas Steel so we can design the steel connection successfully. And for us to do that, you have to navigate to the drawing and report. So in this provisions, we have steel detailing panel. Okay, so this steel Protas Steel here, uh, you just have to click on it once. Okay. So everything has been imported successfully click on the close to close this all right so here is the steel uh members okay this protest steel is open successfully if you check very well uh the one i did before is the same name that is why uh, it still come up but i will still show you what i i did and how you are going to go about that okay successfully so most of these uh connections like this one now this is the uh polarized connection to the steel beams okay so you can i can select this micros now right click on it and then i click on the delete options oh, oh, yes options to get rid of this micros okay so if you want to actually place that micros you can just have to uh, navigate to where you have uh, polarized connections right there so by this left uh, the right panels right there you can see polarized and get connection so if you click right there you can see uh there are various connections okay this is the polarized connections so you can select this right there okay pick the uh primary uh sections pick this and that to place this just like this you can see okay this is how all of this we are placed successfully okay so that is taken for the steel beam to the wall connections this one you can also remove this micro okay by selecting it right click and then you come down to the to delete the micro successfully yes options all right so there is no connection here now so we want to be connecting the steel beam to the wall successfully so what do we do we will come to the right pan area and then we'll be able to select the you know steel beam to reinforce concrete wall condition successfully so coming to the beam to column conditions just select there in the drop down menu you can see this beam to wall okay this one is the condition select it all right the wall is the primary uh object so why the beam is the secondary so you just select the two and then you have your connections being applied successfully this is how you apply the beam to all connections successfully after which you just have to proceed and then we want to be placing plates all over this so that there will be a smooth walk around right away on this bridge so what we need to do come over to where our plate pick the plate right there okay so i will pick the edge of this I'll go over to do that and I make sure I also pick that edge just like that. Come all the way to this other end. All right, so once you picked it there, you will just have to right click and interrupt that. So you can see the plate being placed successfully, just like this. Okay, for the micros, if you really want to see all of these micros. All right, you just have to come off the way to these provisions and select this to get rid of the micro. So here is the simple bridge that we have model analyzed and as well designed, as well as the connections in Prota structure and Prota state 2022 successfully. So once again, don't forget to like and subscribe and soft phrasing. If there's any questions, you can drop it at the comment sections. See you in the next lesson and bye for now.